All right, guys, name is Tyler, AKA Nanogenics, and today, man, somehow, year five of, of Dokkan Battle has like come and already gone. Like by the time this is live on my channel, year five is ending within like hours, which is, is nuts. Like there's probably by the time, if you're watching this the second that it goes live, there's like maybe a day left of year five and it's, it's over. I feel like this one just came and gone so much faster than all the rest, but anyways, we are actually hopping in still. I, I, this is my favorite background. Like the Zamasu and the Vegito one is okay. I mean, it's, it's I, but this one, dude, I just, they killed the art on that one. So I thought it's going to go away. I really didn't summon that much. I feel like, like at all. So I wanted to do one final summon before everything goes away. And that's what we're doing right here. So I do, I do really want more dupes of Gogeta and Vegito. Like I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't. The issue though, is it's like, they will inevitably come back and I will inevitably have too many of them because they'll be on like a Dogon Festival style banner, but Broly and Rose, to pull copies of them once they're gone because we just keep getting more and more LRs. So when the game decides to give you an LR, the likeliness of it being one of those two LRs is gonna just continually get just more, more and more, just less and less, more and more. <laughs> Yeah, because that's how that really works, Nano. Anyways, so it's just like, I, I want one more time while they are featured to see if I can get a, another copy of either Broly or Rosé. I definitely want the Rosé. I would like to have one dupe in him. That is what we're looking for right there. So no one ever. Um, well, you, you, could, you could use him during a super attack of the other Fizz Piccolo. So maybe someone somewhere has been like, yo, I can use that during a super attack. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, so I thought one final one, um, Gogeta, Vegito, both uh, I'm set up good on those. And also while I sat here and summon, unless this decides to go crazy and it doesn't, I thought we could talk about year five. Now, when year five launched, it, it started strong. I won't even sit here and deny that. I remember like I made some comment about year five being the best, you know, anniversary to date. Don't add me. And in terms of summonable units across the board, I don't think there has been a year that has touched this year specifically um lr transforming gogeta that actually has like good requirements same thing with vegito um for active ability to transformation to everything we've never in my personal opinion had a better set of units than those two and then we got a rose and a broly that are both really cool and really fun to use broly being one of the most unique units broly uh, chile and limo being one of the most unique units we've had released in a really long time and so across the board in terms of summonable units, that's what we like to see. I just don't see how any anniversary previous to now has touched these four right here. But minus the introduction, we now know that they will officially Extreme Z Awaken LRs. So at some point in time, you probably can expect an easy A. I mean, not confirmed, but you can probably expect an easy A at some point for things like LR Piccolo, LR Super Saiyan Goku, um, and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool for them to introduce that. However, the content was a bit lacking. Infinite history is pretty dope. Um, quite a few stones from that, you know, but you'd have thought they would have taken the time to give us a new legendary event, right? Like the formula is there. They can easily give us a legendary event against Vegeta, a legendary event against Frieza, against Gohan, against Cell, whoever they want to make it be. It's not that difficult for them now that the outline of it is there. Same thing with Super Battle Roads. I really don't know what takes so long about new SBRs. It's literally just a plug and play with new characters. Maybe increase the difficulty a little bit, maybe decrease a little bit depending on the category that you're using, but there's a ton of categories in this game and I don't understand what takes them so long with SBR, which in the freaking V jump, it said that we should be getting an extreme Super Battle Road, which sounded pretty interesting. Something maybe new, something different. Um, but you know, we didn't get any Extreme Z Awakens, not like the traditional ones, which you would have thought since we haven't gotten the intelligent Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta one yet, and he should be coming up. I mean, as far as the, the God lead and Demi God lead era, that was Super Vegito, was the Super Vegito and Fizz Broly are the ones that sparked that era. And it ended when they started year two anniversary and gave us the Super Saiyan, the original Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. Like that era of units, there's, two left one left the intelligence vegeta is that is he the final one no way i'm sitting here trying to think 
regardless, I'm, I'm summoning and trying to do other things too. So I really thought that would give us that one, you know, and then probably throw in some others that we could easily use. And they never did it. And then we didn't get like a raid boss like we did last year, where last year was really sick how they did the uh, Smoke Shinron, which then led to this new event, which then led to a raid boss against Sin Shinron, who then turned into Omega Shinron and gave us the, you know, Universal Spirit Bomb Kid Goku that then Extremes the Awakened. Like, um, you know, that was really cool. And, and not to be like malicious a little bit here, but, you know, there could be an argu argument made for why they didn't do that tied to the fact that Extreme Z Awakens do give a lot of stones. And the more free-to-play stones you get, the less likely you, you are to actually spend the money on the game and purchase actual stones to summon. So, you know, I'm not saying that's why they didn't do it, but if we get freaking Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta's EZA and the celebration that immediately follows, immediately follows this one, like Saiyan Day, or, you know, also I will probably be doing summons for a new Dokkan Festival in a few days after this launches because Global's going to be getting cooler. And while Global's getting cooler, presumably JP will probably get a new Dokkan Festival because last year, last year, right after the year uh, four celebration ended is when we got the Kid Goku celebration, the Kid Goku Dokkan Festival, like literally two days afterwards. So if during either the celebration with whatever releases a couple days after the year five celebration ends or during Saiyan Day, we get the intelligent Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta EZA. It's like, OK, so why wasn't that there and where was the raid and where was, you know, and then the other thing, too, to kind of I'm, I'm I enjoyed the celebration. I'm just I'm I'm hey, there we go. All right. <laughs> Please be Rose. Ah! All right. All right. My and Trunks, that's what we like to see. Anyways, uh, final harp on the celebration. You know, we, we, we started with some positives, now we, we, we hit with some negatives, uh, is the equipment. I like equipment, I think equipment is cool. I think it's just being handled in a, such a weird way right now. I've gotten the trashiest of equipment drops thus far. Like, I, when I did one of my, I was using Broly, and I have like no good Fizz equips. Like, I just don't. You can only run it once a day. It's super random. I will take that. He is getting super close to being rainbowed, but I can still use copies of that, which is fantastic. Yes, dude. Oh my God. It's worth. It is worth, 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 dude. I can actually do that now because my freaking hand is not broke. <laughs> oh. Yes, bro. Yes. That is a top left half on the Broly, Chile, and Limo card. Yes, Trunks and Mai coming in hot, bro. Coming in hot. Is that a Rainbow Frost? That might be a Rainbow Frost, actually. All right, let me lock you up. But yeah, I think equips are cool. I think it's a, a neat introduction. Um, however, I think it's just being handled weird in a way that I can only run it once a day. And like the most equips you can get is basically four every single day and it's all random and they're type specific. So like, oh great, I got this really cool thing, but you can't use it maybe on the character that you want. So, and I actually have not got a single level three or a gold like crit or additional at all. All of mine have either been a dodge or like a super tech. A super tech increase is not bad. Um, you know, those also will increase attack too, but I haven't gotten a single crit or additional um, for the third for the third spot, which is it's just it's nutty, bro. Anyways, and I and I, I've not missed a single day. Obviously, I'm running it every single day. So, yeah. Um, and other than those things, you're. <laughs> hey, did you guys know this guy got a Doke on a lake in? <laughs> uh, other other than those things, though, they still they still did have content. I just think the way they dr like trickled it out was just not smart. I really think ultimately. They shouldn't, have, they shouldn't have split it up between three parts. I really think it should have just been a situation to where it was a part one, it was a part two, and it would have just felt better because then they they didn't really add anything to it. It was basically about the same amount of content, if not maybe a little less, but then they spread across three parts. And I think that's what made it feel maybe just a little weird. And so I think that, I think the execution was uh, of it all was a little bad. And then I think it was just a little, like one extra thing. Changing the way we got equips, change the way we've got equips and just like a nice raid boss to to wrap up the entire celebration would have been just a nice touch and i would have 100 have said it definitely succeeded year four 
Year four did good. I am really disappointed that we haven't gotten another sort of um, Shinron type thing where we gather the Dragon Balls. I presume during this one we were going to gather the uh, Super Dragon Balls and, and summon Super Shinron, but then we didn't. And so we haven't got to summon Purunga in a long friggin' time. I think the last time was the 250 billion download celebration. So it's been a minute since we've been able to summon for like a Shinron and like get some like goodies. And I don't know why they're holding out on that. It makes literally zero sense to me. So um, introduction of Shinron, like a raid event and just fixing how equips are like actually, you know, like acquired would like turn around so much of of everything they did so anyways <laughs> other than those like ma mainly those really three complaints i've just dragged out really long in this video i actually really enjoyed this again just just to, to recap is how i started it was i think they i think they killed the actual summonable units but i know in a lot of cases you know people want more than just summons and I, i'll see people say that but then you have the other side of the community that will literally argue that all dokkan mostly is it's just a summoning machine so i'm like you know, from from your from their standpoint, they're like, hey, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> and it, you know, I kind of I kind of get that. But as someone who does actually play this game quite a lot, I actually it's weird. You think I would slowly start start playing it less and less. But as I get busier um, and, and stuff like that with things like I find myself playing it more and more because it's so easy to just like stop playing and then pick back up like an hour later and i can like i can literally be in the middle of an event that might take me you know 15 20 30 minutes and something happens and i just swipe out of the app and i can come back to it in an hour and pick up right where i left off because i don't care about you know running an event in a specific amount of time and like the ability to do that and just to be able to sit there and like do other things with it and, like i can be playing it and also like editing or you know whatever like it's that's why I like Dokkan, and that's why I actually have been playing Dokkan probably more recently than I have in a long, long time. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that was today's video. We freaking got a Broly. The final, I think I really don't foresee myself summoning again on any of these banners, which is, again, it's such a weird thought that year five has already come and gone. But it has, and that was today's video, our final summons on the year five celebration. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. If you're new here, go down there, hit that subscribe button, join. That's like now today. Guys, have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on. Now, Jinx and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.